All right, guys. <clears throat> so I thought I'd uh, show you something here. I'm making a uh, puller to pull my trap stakes. I use rebar stakes. Um, I just make my own. It's a little cheaper, and uh, yeah. So it's you know, in the long run, yeah, I'd like to have. Um, the cable stakes and or the chain stakes and stuff like that but uh still more than what i can afford right now so i just make my own rebar stakes which work just fine it's just a little more weight to carry around and stuff but yeah it's all right so i thought i'd show you these uh drags i said on my wolf trapping video or my wolf set that i made um about the uh um the drags that i had made I thought I'd show you. I have one laying here that's not on any traps. So I thought I'd uh, show you here. Um, this, is, this is what they look like. Um, the, chain, shoot, sorry. the swivel goes in there. And, ow! Dang it. Mm. Alright. Ah. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I'll just leave this in the video. <laughs> uh, mm, that hurt. A um, couple days ago, I was waxing my wolf traps and a couple other traps. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hurt my finger pretty good. Um, I have little hooks that I made that uh <clears throat> pan that smarts uh that um i hang i have boards and i have these hooks that i made and uh i hang the trap chain and hang the trap well one of the man hmm one of the uh hooks i had on my wolf traps uh was i was trying to hang it up i guess it was with my left hand and i was trying to hold another hook on the chain on my right hand and it was hanging down further about two feet from where i was trying to hang it up and the weight of the entire trap plus some of the chain and the spring and everything fell and the hook um went through my glove and went down into my finger tore a piece about a oh about a dime size piece of skin while well, it tore it right down to the flesh um tore it back and then went in through um and i don't know how deep it went it went pretty deep um but I was, it was really bugging me. Like I said, it was like two days ago, something like that. And uh, two, three days ago. And it was really bugging me. So I got home from trapping this evening and cleaning it a little bit. And uh, saw a little something sticking out there, a little piece of something. I got tweezers and pulled out a nice long piece of string about like that. And I was like, oh, that's not good. So I dug around a little bit and pulled out some more well then i squeezed it real hard and a big old piece of i don't know what all it was um glove and whatever about the size of a pea um popped <laughs> popped out of that hole and uh yeah it was all nasty anyways um hopefully i'm not grossing anybody out <laughs> but uh yeah, so I was cleaning it up good, but man, I just smarted that thing just dropped on it. That drag. Anyhow. <clears throat> so, anywho, that's my drag. Now, the long story short, that's how I made them up. And uh, they're pretty heavy. Like I said, I don't know. Dang it, my battery light's flashing. I have to, I should weigh them and see what they weigh, but. So I'm going to get some parts cut out here, and then uh, I'll, uh, yeah, get back with you and show you how I'm going to make it. Maybe I'll tack it all together and then show you. So, 
All right, catch you later. All right, guys. So this is what we got. Um, a piece of uh, tube steel, bottom of the cap on the end. Uh, it's 40 inches long. Two pieces of rebar support the new shape, kind of like a bender, a uh, conduit bender, something like that. Um, and and then uh, what, what I did is I, I took and put uh, this piece of welded this piece onto the base and then cut, drilled a hole, half inch hole, because I always use half inch rebar, and then um, cut this on a little bit of an angle back in there um, hopefully it'll grip a little better and then you stick that under the stake and just pull it up and get her get her going uh, been wanting to make one of these for a while um, I uh, haven't had time to really and I haven't taken the time to um, but um, I decided I, I better do it. I got a couple stakes that went down through some rock and stuff, and uh, I really don't want to lose the stakes. So I normally use, um, I don't even remember where I got it. I got it years ago for one of these trapping magazines. Um, it's a digger, a, a hammer has a thing on the back to dig ground but I took and cut a little notch out of it so I could pull my stakes and I normally just use that but going down through that rock um, yeah and sometimes I'd be driving it down through and I'll drive it into a, a tree root or something like that and it you know you can't hardly get them out so built this to try and uh, try and get it you know so I can take them out. So, well, guys, hope you enjoyed this. I know it wasn't much video and stuff, but uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and got some out of it. Maybe somebody else can use. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you later. God bless.